Hey, what's up, Trainiacs? Triathlon Taryn here. Over today, tomorrow, the last two days, we have been talking about how, if you're looking at making a change in your life overall and doing it through triathlon, odds are really good, you're probably looking at getting healthier, living healthier, losing a little bit of weight. And we are giving you tips on how to incorporate triathlon with a weight loss program. And today, the role that intense strength exercise plays in that. Stick around. So in today's daily triathlon video, we are talking about the role of strength and intense cardio as far as fat and weight loss plays. Now, if you haven't done it yet, go to triathlonterran.com forward slash weight loss, and that's the accompanying free download that you can get that'll take you through all of these videos that we've put together and additional resources that'll help you dial in your exact weight loss strategy as a triathlete. But yesterday we talked about the role that like long, slow, steady workouts play in fat loss. That's the traditional, just aerobic training for fat and weight loss. But today we're gonna blow that all up and say, forget everything that I said yesterday, strength training and intense cardio plays a huge, probably just as big a role as the low intensity work when it comes to weight loss. Now as a quick refresher, we're talking about this on a scale of one to 10 for rate of perceived exertion. Zero to four is existing, standing, sitting, walking. Five and six, that's your long, steady, aerobic, very typical, traditionally associated weight loss training intensity. Your seven and eight is kind of like no man's land. It's not low and slow enough to be just purely aerobic and extremely fat burning, but nine and 10 is off the charts. You aren't using any fat as fuel at that, but that intense workout provides hormonal response and a body response that ends up burning a ton of fat even after the workout that can't be said for those five and six intensity workouts. So what I mean by this is that the five and six low, slow, traditionally associated with weight loss intensity workouts, those burn more fat as fuel during the workout because at that, those low intensities, our body can access, it's got the time to access our fat stores to use as fuel. At the high intensity work, our body is having to access muscle glycogen and liver glycogen. But what happens is that during those low intensity workouts, you're burning a lot more fat during the workout. However, you're burning a lot more fat after the workout for the rest of the day with those really intense workouts. So here's how you incorporate those really intense workouts into a weight loss program. Number one, strength training. Strength training provides a couple of really important benefits when it comes to weight and fat loss for triathletes. So strength training builds muscle. The more muscle we have, the faster our metabolism is. So we can consume more calories day to day without having to worry about gaining weight and going into a situation where we're consuming more calories than we're burning. In addition to that, strength training induces a hormonal response, namely testosterone, that encourages muscle building, but it also discourages holding on to body fat. So just that hormonal response alone is going to make our bodies more resilient to carrying fat, more resistant, less likely, it's gonna hold less fat. Now let's talk about high intensity interval training. Could be 50 meter sprints in the pool, could be 30 second bursts on the bike, could be interval runs, but when you start going really, really intense with traditional endurance training, but you're actually training more for strength and speed, what happens is we go into oxygen deprivation. We end up consuming more oxygen than we're actually taking in, and what happens in geek speak is a response called EPOC, E-P-O-C, that is excess post exercise oxygen consumption. And this results in a boost of your metabolism long after, we're talking like a half a day to a full 24 hours after your intense exercise is over. So we continue to have our metabolism sped up after those really intense workouts. So whereas 
those long, slow workouts are burning a ton of fat during the workout, these are speeding up your metabolism and continuing to burn fat after the workout. So there are a lot of reasons to do both the low intensity workouts and the high intensity workouts. They both provide benefits. So this is why you hear about things like periodization, where you're changing up the intensities throughout the course of a year, and things like polarization, where people are doing all of their training at either, either really low intensities or really high intensities, and not that intensity in the middle that is no man's land. Now, if you go to triathlonterran.com forward slash weight loss, I talk about how you can structure a training plan to incorporate both that really low intensity workout and the really high intensity workout to get the benefits of both. So go there, throw in your email address and accompanying with these videos, you're gonna know exactly how to approach weight loss as a triathlete. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about my favorite foods that help encourage weight loss, favorite supplements and things to avoid. And if you aren't already subscribed and you don't wanna miss that video, hit the subscribe button below. And if you are already subscribed, thank you as always for watching Excellent Trainiacs. Comment below with your excellent weight loss journey.